Google Glass goes cross-country for those of you that want to give it a try. Microsoft Cloud-Based Gaming shows us how to play Halo from a Windows phone, and believe it or not, iOS 7 customers are complaining of dizziness. I'm Jaime Rivera, and does this mean we'll now have banners stating friends don't let friends use their iPhones while drunk? This is Pocket Now Daily. So what happens when you launch a golden iPhone? You expect a golden Galaxy phone. I mean, how else does this market work? And as it turns out, you can pick up your golden Galaxy phone very soon in combinations of either brown and gold or pink and gold, which sums up all my theory that golden phones are a girl's best friend. But anyways, we still don't know when these phones are going to be launched. And probably this is just going to be a Middle Eastern thing. But anyway, stay tuned. You never know from Samsung. Now let's move the spotlight over to Microsoft, as today was Steve Ballmer's last meeting with employees before retiring. And as it turns out during the event, they had the showcase of a new cloud-based gaming project that they have where they were playing the console-based version of Halo on Windows through the cloud, and even a Windows phone. But wait a second, I'm not talking about a Lumia 1020. I'm talking about the cheapest Lumia 520 that you can buy, that variant that you can actually buy for 100 bucks at the Home Shopping Network. That phone was running the full based console version of Halo. Yes, I'm not lying to you. And well, as it turns out, we'll probably see these services coming very soon. And let's hope that Microsoft makes these services exclusive to Windows Phone to at least make it, you know, to at least give it a point of being. I mean, the fact that Skype doesn't really work with the previous versions of Windows Phone, oh man, that's just, that's just infuriating. Have you thought that things were bad for BlackBerry? Uh, think again. I mean, T-Mobile has just confirmed that they will be the first carrier to actually drop BlackBerry fully from their retail stores, which means that if the company was having trouble selling phones, it's just gotten a lot more complicated as T-Mobile has been one of those very close partners to BlackBerry in the past. So anyways, let's see what the Canadians do about this because obviously it's not good news for them. Now let's talk about Google Glass, you know, that very cool product that sadly did not sit well with us reviewers because it was just too limited to be actually useful to many of us. And as it turns out, Google wants to make it popular whichever way possible. And what they're doing is actually going cross country with the product. They're going to different places, having events and allowing everybody to test it out. So they're starting in North Carolina on October 5th, and then they're moving around the country to show it off. So make sure you see it and tell us what you think. I mean, so far, I'd love to have Google Google Glass, I just wouldn't like to pay for it. And finally, for the both interesting and hilarious news of the day, we've got some leaked photographs of the iPad 5 in Space Gray. And if you cannot tell the difference between that and the current generation iPad, I don't blame you. I don't know what the difference is, so stay tuned for whenever it launches. And let's see how the silver one actually looks and the golden one most likely. But in even more hilarious news, we've got some confirmations that in Apple support groups, people are complaining about iOS 7 giving them dizziness. And most likely because of the parallax feature, which you can actually turn off if you watch Taylor Martin's video on how to get it done. But anyways, can you believe it? People are complaining about getting dizzy about an operating system, which kind of leads me to the question of the day. I mean, do you believe that these complaints are real or fake? Have you seen iOS 7? Do you actually consider that the parallax will make you dizzy? In my particular case, I've been using iOS 7 ever since beta 1. I have never gotten dizzy. And with the fact that there are so many paid chills out there that actually use support forums to stir opinion in other directions, you would never know if these comments are actually fake or not. So let us know. Does iOS 7 make you dizzy? Leave us a comment. Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and top world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.